I really like Lego, and even more I love different Lego animals, because each of them is an interesting, unique piece. For 5 years I managed to collect more than 100 different instances. Among them there are very rare figures, and those that are unlikely to ever appear in new sets. Well, with you as always Papa Lego, let's go. Most of all in my collection of animals are horses. Of course, because I collect a big fantasy world, I have horses both old and new. I like the new ones much more, but if the old armor suits both models, then now it's very difficult to find helmets for new horses. But recently a full figurine appeared in lego and it is very pleasing lego was generally very generous with the cubs of various animals in 2022 and also they returned to us a lot of old but very cool little animals for example cows though in a new beige color old cows are so rare that a few years ago i ordered this one in lithuania and now i have a whole herd only a calf is missing also for farmers in my fantasy city i have been looking for these cute pigs for a long time so they are also different and now piglets both large and small can be ordered directly on the official lego website which i actually did also in the 22nd year lego pleased us with a new part of cute sheep they have already been seen in different sets and unlike other animals they have an additional removable piece of wool which unfortunately i don't have yet but there is a little lamb only a goat is missing for a complete barnyard but now it costs just space money from 55 euros a piece for this amount i can buy a live goat in a neighboring village and grab a vietnamese pig for change so i'd rather wait for the new medieval market 2024 set which brings back the lego goat figure. In the meantime, I can boast of a few more small chickens in my household. For several years, I managed to collect a large number of different birds. My subscribers helped me with this. Now in my collection there are 6 chickens, a duck, 2 pink flamingos and 1 penguin, 3 snowy owls from Harry Potter, a parrot and 1 phoenix, a seagull and 3 gray falcons, as well as many small birds of different colors. Probably only dogs and marine inhabitants can boast of such a variety among my little animals. Among furry friends, I have 2 standard leka and 2 with blue eyes from a winter warrior as well as one unusual brown leica and i don't even know on which set it came across these are the same german shepherds from the lego city sets Taking a similar piece of white color and painting it with black spots, Lego made a Dalmatian figurine. Much more interesting is the unique detail of a furry sausage, a brown dachshund. She also had a white bulldog with her minifigure. And recently, I found a dog of a new interesting color, and now I have three different bulldogs. Most of all I like the little Totoshka, but so far I have not been able to find the same dog, only white. But recently, another small dog from the French minifigure has joined the ranks of dogs. Well, this ghost dog was presented to me by one of the subscribers, for which many thanks to him cats, unfortunately, I have much less. Only one gray cat, one very angry red, and a funny cat from the animated series The Simpsons. I really want to order a few small kittens on the official website. Of the other fluffy ones, I have accumulated as many as three white rabbits, one hefty rat and a cute red squirrel, two monkeys from Lego City and one black monkey, a new detail of a small koala and an old bat from the Lego Castle set. Of the other flattering residents, I can boast of three brown bears at once. They fit perfectly into the fantasy world as they can be used as prey for a hunter, assistant to a druid, or as a tame animal for traveling circus performers. No less dangerous forest inhabitant of the fantasy world is a saber-toothed tiger. It was also sent to me by a subscriber and I already use it a lot for my custom wood elves. Another rare animal that I hunted for a very long time is, of course, a camel. It is best suited for gathering traveling merchants from outlying settlements. Such a camel can only be found in very old Lego sets based on the movie Prince of Persia. Well, among the sea and river inhabitants, as I already said, there are also a lot of different living creatures. Only one fish I have accumulated more than 30 pieces and five different colors. Many different frogs, half of which are more like decorative items than real animals. There are several standard crabs in different colors and one small crab with a shell on its back from the minifigure series. Two large red lobsters for the royal feast and a lot of different snakes. Big Nagini from Harry Potter a green cobra from the old series of minifigures, standard snakes of different colors and a few unusual ones from old Lego Ninjaga sets. Well, I bought this sea monster exclusively for the collection and do not plan to add it to my fantasy world, but maybe in the future I will have a suitable location for this shark. But spiders are great for detailing various fantasy-themed crafts. I have accumulated over a dozen of them, mostly new style spiders, but I still have one old spider and there is one glowing in the dark from Lego City sets, but I practically don't use scorpions in my buildings but I already managed to buy parts for a new location of the steps where one of the orc settlements will be, so they will definitely come in handy soon. Also, dinosaurs from the Jurassic World series look great with orcs. I already showed in one of my videos how you can coolly customize an ordinary velociraptor under the fantasy. I have another one in my collection, but it's blue and I don't think it looks so good with green orcs anymore. 
Thanks to dinosaurs, orcs now have flying units, a shaman riding a pterodactyl. He drops clay bombs with poison on the ranks of human knights. Smaller dinosaurs make a great chariot for orc archers, and baby velociraptors from LEGO magazines would look cool on an orc mount farm. Just like a small triceratops, it is great for carrying heavy loads. Of course, you can also use classic wargs like in the Lord of the Rings movies for orcs, but now they are almost impossible to find and I was very lucky to get one recently. But here's what I really hunted for a long time, so it's the Ranker. And yes, unlike other big figs from the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit series, the Ranker is also an animal and even on the Bricklink it is placed in the animals section. Now, this is a formidable weapon in the army of orcs, goblins, and trolls. But not only this faction has flying mounts. The sorcerers from the Academy of Magicians also took a few flying animals into their service, such as the Big Eagle from the same Lord of the Rings and of course the Sheik Hypogriff from the Harry Potter series. Another flying creature from this movie fits perfectly into the Army of the Undead. Thestral is best suited for customizing the Overlord of the Army of the Dead. True, now he will look even more like the Lich King from World of Warcraft. But in LEGO, a detail of a small Thestral cub has recently appeared, and it certainly does not look like some kind of scary creature, but rather a very cute, fabulous little animal. Ordinary skeleton warriors use skeleton horses as a mount. They are now rare, but still very cheap. Such horses were in a very old LEGO castle series 15 years ago. But about whom you definitely can't say cute, it's about the dragon. This is one of the strongest creatures of Kaldaria, and at the same time, the most ancient. True, my great monster still lacks a neck. I hope that soon I will find the missing part for him. But the dragon has a small cub, this is a detail from the old LEGO Kingdom series. I still have a lot of different animals from such series as friends, elves, and Minecraft, but I do not attribute them to the collection, and they are just waiting for their finest hour. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and watch other videos, there are a lot of interesting things. With you as always was Papa LEGO, for all you cool minifigs and I'm not saying goodbye.